Okay, so we're reacting to some like work in progress stuff. I think we've seen some of this before, but it's, it's gone a little farther. And then there's some new stuff in here as well, I think. All right, so the first one says, Remy, the shark is fresh, the rest is healed. Your work has inspired me to do a blast over slash we were rework cover up on my chest panel. I'll send progress over on that piece soon. Um, so we get another look at this jellyfish that he showed us at some point before, and I was fairly critical of. I think it, I think it, it bugs some people more than others when I'm critical of their work. Like, I think this guy really wanted a redo. Like, it was like, no, it's not. That. And like, like, you got to remember, like, this is, I'm going to be critical of everything. I'm more critical of myself than anyone. Yeah. Right? Like, I'm, like, super, like, like I'm nitpicky. Mm -hmm. That's what I do. So I, I'll nitpick a, a 9 out of 10 tattoo. Oh, yeah. You, know? you have even to. Like, even when I do a, a fairly good job on a tattoo, Rem still nitpicks it. That's it's, the way it but is. But you got to nitpick, though. That's how you get better as an artist. So, like, the color thing is, like, he had like a geisha or something in there mm -hmm. and like i i love the way that this looks from behind but there's like nothing right on the calf it's all just like stuff working and strange i kind. know it's like a weird placement it's hard to see what anything is so let's move on he sent a whole different bunch of pictures of his leg like here from this angle like it doesn't look like a shark right mm -hmm. like, this is the problem with things that wrap a lot is like I just see parts of the shark everywhere. Yeah. But like in nowhere do I see enough to tell me this is a shark. And that problem just seems to be getting worse. Although the jellyfish is a lot better now that it's finished. Yeah, I like the jellyfish. I do. It's just whenever you're leaving, like, and I know you kind of have to leave the the whole structure of this in negative for it to make any kind of sense. It's just when so much is in negative it looks like it, it like it's just not finished or mm -hmm. something like there's just this thing that happens where it doesn't look like anything like it's another one of those things where if i could see it all together or if i could see one jellyfish together then it would maybe tell the story better yeah. and you know this is probably the best we've had of the shark yeah the best angle it's so hard to film a sleeve like a leg sleeve is the same. Like it, anything that wraps, it's oh, so yeah. fucking hard. You're telling me. I, oh, I talk about it on my, <laughs> my YouTube videos all the time with my sleeve and progression. It's like you can't really show it. No, like, it's so hard. Like I just did that little graveyard scene wrap around the ankle. Like I didn't even try. Like I didn't even, like I took a couple pictures of it, but the, you can't. There's no way. Because like this shark is cool, right? Yep. Like I like this shark. I think it's going to look better when it's not fresh because mm -hmm. all these tones are going to be better yeah it'll I mellow out i also like the stark contrast in it from like like very kind of gray shading to the negative of the jellyfish kind of keeps them separate in some way but because like the nature of a leg sleeve right like it's and i want them to go this big too um it's just it's really hard to get it in a snapshot like nowhere in here do i see it mm -hmm. here i kind of do yeah <laughs> it's such a bummer head. He's cool. I really like it. I I don't know. I think maybe the the background behind the shark should be in full black too. Yeah, I think things like this are better in person. Oh, it's almost always better in person. I think this is probably the better of the two legs, even though I'm more partial to the colorful one. Mm -hmm. Like I do tend to like the colorful stuff. And I, I like a lot of the stuff he has on top too. It's a little weird. But, like, I like a little weird. Mm -hmm. So, like, it's just remember, like, if I'm giving you feedback, it's not necessarily just outright hostile criticism either. Like, it's 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 from a good place. Right. right? I, and I like weirder tattoos, too. So, uh, I don't like the Pinterest stuff that much. So <clears> we'll right. move on to our good friend, Tim. It's It's been a while. I was starting to wonder if he died or something. No, or, like, I don't blew say up that. Something. Poor Tim. Well, no, but like for a while there, he was like in my emails like every couple days. But he something. said he was. He said he was done. <laughs> no, that was that was the other guy. Oh, okay. okay. That was um, not Tim. Uh, what the hell was his name? The guy with the Batman and all the oh, fucking the Mr. Hanky and Tim. all the, the the terrible <laughs> photo of his grandpa well, I'm or his sorry. dad. I'm sorry, Tim. Uh, so it goes. What's going on? That was on? Nicholas. Ah, Nicholas. Okay, <laughs> Nicholas. Nick and Tim. He's um, coming up again too, by the way. 
What's going on, Rem and Sarah? I have another uh, piece to share. This is a cover up of something dumb I got done in my mid 20s. Uh, but me not wanting to let it go, I retouched it last year. Fell out of love with it recently, so now I decided to go with a silhouette of a forest and red moon. I used Panthero Triple X on the first pass for black, decided to try something different and go uh, dynamic triple for the second pass. This is the tattoo healed. Looking forward to seeing how it looks down the road. Would like to get your take on it. Uh, and do you recommend going this route with black or just stick to one type of ink for second pass? My red uh, in the tattoo is star bright dried blood. Um, let me know what you think. Uh, always great to get roasted by my pal Remy. Laugh out loud. Okay. So that we've, uh, we reacted to the, the rose thing already. So he did another pass on that, did he? Mm. The black in there? Is that yeah, what you're saying? Yeah, it looks fresher. Yeah, so I don't think it's like, the thing is, is like, you're just going to get a mix of the tones, right? Like, it's, it's not like... I always think that triple X dynamic black has like a purple base to it or something when it settles. Whereas dynamic regular black has like a blue tone and then Panthera has kind of a gray. So it's like you're almost just layering like different black colors. So I don't think it'll make much difference. Mm, I think that if you're like, <sighs> I, I don't know how much you, I know you think it's like skin tone dependent and I do think it's yeah, skin tone dependent. Yeah, but that will be the case for everything. But I also think that, like, if you, like, mix a, like, a purple base with, like, like a purple is, is maybe a little warmer with, like, a, a blue base, which is a little colder, like, I think that it could do something, but I don't really know. I don't think that that's, like, I think it's just, like, people are trying to find the blackest black. Like, that's always the pursuit. It's like, yeah. people don't do these things to try and get warmer cold blacks. They're thinking like, oh, this black will be blacker than that black. It's like, you're not, like, we've pretty well got black as dark as it's getting. Oh, well, and I, I think the, <laughs> the, the black, uh, how black looks in your skin is skin tone dependent. And also, but yeah, but like, it's not going to be, so like, you could use any black you want. It's never going to be blacker necessarily. It's going to be darker or lighter like but that's more of like the tone like it's not like it's like i don't know it's it's hard to describe so like for example i can use and we have done this already dynamic and go over panthera and like people commonly think that panthera is too black to be covered no it's not too black to be covered you can co cover it with other blacks even because these things are just different tonally it's not like Oh, I found the darkest black ink. That's not a thing. Like, they're all just different. Yeah, I think it would have to be thicker to be darker. Even then, because then it will be harder to work with. Yep. Like, Rick's got that Gloom Panthera black over there, and they'll put it in some places sometimes, but to use that in any large amount, fuck, they sell it in a bottle this big. Yeah. It's because it's terrible to work with. So even if you could theoretically make it blacker, it's like, it's going to be choppy and it's not going to be smooth and it's going to be like, yeah. you know, like you just use it in small I spots. I think that for me, whatever Hood's using is probably the best. That's Panthera Black. <laughs> there but, you go. But most black workers use that. Yeah. And like, by the way, his stuff is, it's no darker. It's nope. just smooth. That, but that, I think, I think that is probably the more important thing. Yeah. Than the, the, the blackness. But like, the you'll see some people swear by allegory. Like, they'll say, uh, that's the blackest black. Everybody has, like, the, they're partial to whatever the fuck. Mm -hmm. And, like, I found that your skin tone does dictate what the ink looks like. But, like, it's going to be similarly black anyway. Mm -hmm. Like, it's, it's just going to be whatever your skin color is. If you've got more of an olive base, then it'll have more of an olive black, you know? Or, like, if you're fair like I am, then it's going to have that fair kind of look to it. Anyway... We talked enough about that. I just get really irritated about this because it's like there's no Vanta Black. It stays that way for a minute. Not and yet. It's fucking, I don't think it'll ever be because it's always going to be filtered through your skin tone. Right. It's going to be subject to coming through whatever the hell you've got on top. Mm -hmm. So it is what it is. I like the little moon in here. Like this guy, like 
the thing is, is like I can give him my usual critique about having too much. Mm -hmm. Like if you showed me like this was your plan, I'd be like, on a normal client, like this is insane. But yeah. like on this guy, he's he's a willing test dummy. He's like a he's an experiment, not unlike myself. Yep. So it's like it's not really like it's a big problem for him, right? But also, I think sometimes you do things like this to collect knickknacks and less about aesthetics. I like this little moon. I think it's cute. I think it's cool placement in yep. a way. I, I would have probably rounded the edge out more. Mm -hmm. Right? Like have the moon more like you're seeing. More more moon. Yeah, more moon. Like the more moon of the is circle. bigger. Yeah. You're seeing more of the circle. And because then it would have had a more organic shape. You could have built into the rose. But like, like I said, again, I said, this guy's not really looking for aesthetics. No. So it's, he's just collecting fun knickknacks. I think that the red is kind of dull, especially for fresh. Yeah, I, I think his other red is really dull, too. Well, yeah, some you can get all kinds of results, right? Yeah. Like he has bright red in that flag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it's 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 the same thing as people thinking that my red velvet is is dark because it's over red. Meanwhile, we have brighter reds. It's like, sometimes it's chosen. Well, I'm looking at two different colors of red well, on you right now. But of, anyways. I've, got, I've got probably 15 different types of red in me. Yeah. But like, I think it's a little dull for fresh mm -hmm. to get the same tonality as that rose. You know what I mean? I think like, if, 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 if it were me and I was doing this tattoo, I think I would be at least like in like my brightest points, my very brightest points, I'd be hitting it with a brighter red. Yeah, I'd have some little, little like, extra definition yeah. in there. Like you, it doesn't hurt to bring more red, more red types into the equation. Like, yeah. Have like a bright red highlight. Give it more in there. of a blood moon kind of glow. Yeah, I think it's a little bit flat, but it is what it is. It's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. And yeah, I always like to see what our buddy here is working on. Nice little cover up.